Hello everybody out there on YouTube land, this is Jonathan with South Coast Designs. I'm here to give you a quick overview and uh, installation of this wall mount. Uh, it's 51 to 80 inches and I got a 65 inch uh, UHD TV right there. It's pretty heavy but it's well below the weight limit of 125 pounds as it shows right here. Um, it's pretty easy to put up. I've already uh, marked the holes and drilled uh, four that are on the studs to the right and the ones on the left are um, these um, heavy uh, heavy duty wall mounts. It also came, this TV mount also came with this uh, magnetic level. Uh, it's pretty cool. I have never used one before. It's a little bit harder to use than a regular um, level, uh, whatever, um, stud finder, excuse me. Uh, it attaches to a drywall screw, which is probably right there. As you see, I'm still dusty from putting in the uh, this uh, end wall power cord. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but there you go. It shows basically where that drywall screw is. And it shows you where another one is and you can kind of get an idea where the stud is. Um, it also, which I don't like this, but I went ahead and tried it out. Uh, it comes with a little nail on the end. Here it is. And they tell you to poke from wherever you see the drywall screw uh, left and right and find where the end, here's the end right here. Um, and I just kept on poking until I found the other end. Um, but anyway, that's, I don't like doing that way. I just went ahead and tried to just go with it and then drill in. I figured I have four screws and studs, two in uh, those metal brackets, I'll be good enough if it gets uh, a little cockeyed on that stud. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, stick this thing up here and start screwing these bolts in. Okay, we got this thing. Uh put on the wall. Sorry I'm not able to film the full installation of this. I just have an iPhone and no mount. And again, sorry for the wobbly vi video. Excuse me. Um, there I got the level on top. It's pretty close. Uh, I'll just adjust this side up to compensate for it being a little bit unlevel. Uh, these are the um, brackets with the metal metal piece on the back get it just halfway down and I'll snug it up once I get it completely level that's good enough you can also adjust the level on the TV later on uh, but we'll just go with that for now let's get this tightened up a little bit There we go. Uh, it is still looking pretty level. There's my uh, end wall power cord. Uh, cut it a little bit better. I'm putting it in the center. As you see, this, this is the center right here. Um, that's all right because the power cord on the TV is to the left. I didn't want to be too far to the, uh, to the left because so you can see it. Um, I wanted to put it somewhat in the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and finish these down. With a wrench, I don't like going all the way down with power tools, even though there's an adjustment you can put on there. Uh, I just like to have a feel for it. Sure for how, how tight it's gonna be. Not like my hands are calibrated, but it's just one of those things that I prefer to do. Just snug it down. Got six bolts on here, I'm sure it's not gonna go anywhere. There you go, looks uh, decent. Uh, this thing came with, uh, uh, excuse me, can't think about it right now, uh, template, there it is. Um, and it, it's how I uh, kind of leveled this and planned out where I want to put all the holes. 
this thing has a nice little feature uh, to cover up all the screws and uh, stuff like that. Um, it's these uh, little uh, cover plates. See, it just snaps into that side. And they're just flimsy plastic, but it just gives it a nice look. Uh, I point at the end of this. There we go. See? It's nothing structural, it's just to cover up the, the holes. Um, there you go, it just makes it look a lot cleaner. Uh, not like you'll ever see it. Excuse me, here's the other one. You see this mess right here, I apologize for that. Um, yeah, it's not like you'll ever see it. Let's see if I can put this on the right way. That side, this side, stick it in. And again, these are just cover plates, nothing, uh, nothing more than that. It's still somewhat level, pretty good, it's good enough. Uh, like I said, you can adjust the level on the TV uh, after the fact. Okay, we're back with a little more light. Uh, here it is. Uh, sorry again for the shaky video. Um, here's the mounts themselves. They hook in right here. Here's that adjustment screw, excuse me. Uh, to adjust the level. This is the tensioning screw to adjust the TV tilt forward or backwards. Uh, this thing has a little um, self-locking mechanism. Uh, when you push the TV on it will push down and then lock in. Uh, to unlock it they have these little tabs hanging down and you pull it down to release the TV if you ever need to take it off for any reason. Um, on this TV uh, I had to put some spacers um, because neither of the bolts would uh, mount up straight up, uh, which is okay because I have extra inputs in here and it gives a little room for me to put them in once the TV's up. Uh, I'll have to remove the base after and there's the power. Like I said, and the same thing applies on this side, the mounting screw, I mean the adjustment screw here the tension screw for how far it will adjust and the release for the TV. All right, uh, let's go ahead and hang this uh, TV up and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here it is, it's all hooked up. Ran the wires, have my uh, end wall extension cord that goes right here and goes into uh, my uh, power strip right there. See everything is uh, it's kind of hard to see on this side. Let's go around. Everything's hooked up in there. It's tilted forward. Everything's uh, nice and tucked away. Once I get a cabinet for uh, my electronics down there, it looks uh, nice. The TV's off the ground. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully this video has helped you hang up your own TV. Thank you again for staying with me through this shaky video. Hopefully you like this video and you share it with your friends. I always appreciate you and make sure you stop by for my next video. Thank you again.